hi guys um welcome back to my channel um in today's video we are going to do something totally different from what we normally do so i'm going to go through my emails basically or my spam emails to show you how you can identify um malicious emails or emails that have um malicious intent behind them and most of the times you'll find those emails um under um, under your spam emails because google or gmail actually has this thing like i think it's called natural language processing wherein they um scan the email before it comes to you to identify whether it's um it's malicious or not or whether it has other intentions or like whether it's legit or not so i'm going to open my school um email account and then i'm going to go to my spam because that's where I find a lot of um, emails with malicious intents behind them so the first one there it says post office you have a package that needs to be delivered knowing myself I know that I'm not expecting anything from the post office I don't have I'm not expecting any package from anyone nobody has sent me anything so already by that I know that that's um, that's a clickbait or that's um, that has other intentions behind it but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to open this email and see what these people have said. So already we know that um, the Google or like Gmail has already scanned this entire email to identify any malicious intentions in emails. So basically what our natural language processing does is it looks for uh, grammatical errors whether people are promising you too much money and things like that and then they actually dump those emails in um, spam folders because most of the times um, emails that um, that are in your spam folders are the ones that have um, that want to that, that, are, that are financial intentions behind malicious financial intentions behind them but let's say what they're saying um, dear customer um, you have a package that needs to be delivered, but it has been suspended due to incorrect delivery address. Modify your personal information and add a valid delivery address to complete the delivery process. Um, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do after reading that email because they didn't even attach anything or any link that I have to click at. Um, also, it says send my package. This is not clickable. This re-delivery request cost um 12.99 rents but i don't really know why that is spam but already i know that okay let's look at the email address uh wait it's not clickable and i'm not going to try and click well i didn't even try and click but i can see it's different from what i normally from what i'm normally used to when i click the when i want to check the email address of um of the of the sender so i'm not even going to try and do that but already you can see that the email address says support at um i can't even read that deconfiancy.com i don't even know what that is um already like that's that's a red flag for me to be honest with you but i'm not gonna delete it i'm going to go to the second one um team in vivo well i actually know what in vivo is but let's see why they're saying it's a black i mean it's um it's 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 a spam email hi anichirani i think it's because it's a black friday deal and that's why already that's up to 279.99 us dollars worth of included value when you purchase in vivo already they're promising me like money so i think already that's a red flag already there is a button there that says buy now i'm not going to click that because i don't know the intentions behind this email for example if i click buy now i know that i have my email or my password saved on my laptop so i'm not going to click that because you never know what um the the, the sender's intentions are they could want to steal my passwords and have access to my banking details for example if i click the but i am not going to click i'm not even going to try and verify and see whether it's oh i see why it wasn't clicking the on the on the previous email it's because i'm not connected to my internet but okay let's go to the third one uh your netflix membership is about to be cancelled i already know that's a red flag because i don't have a netflix account so already i know that's not me um let's look at the email address support at 
uh, pacecreative.co.za already i know if if i did have a netflix account and if um, netflix had sent me a message like this i would expect an email address that says something at netflix.co.za or some or dot com actually i don't know something along those lines but already the email address is a red flag um, the fact that I don't have a Netflix account, but they're telling me that my my Netflix membership is about to be cancelled is also a red flag. Um, let's see. Sorry for the interruption, but we're having trouble authorizing your card. Visit the card the account payment page at. Um, that's actually clickable. Re-enter your payment information or use a different payment method. Warning: Do not forget to cancel the transaction via the SMS received. Um. I mean, one, I could say this, or also the fact that there isn't like um, um, a kind regards type of thing with um, a signature from Netflix is also a red flag. The fact that they're talking about accessing my accounts already is a red flag. Maybe that's why it landed in my sperm. So Google um, or Gmail detected that and actually dumped this email into my sperm. So you can actually see the trend here with like what's going on with all these emails. They try and promise you something or like uh, try to get you to put in your bank accounts or like they promise you money or th 